Good morning, we are so excited that you decided to join us for a youth service today. Let us start off with a praise song. I've got confidence in you. Jesus, I've got confidence in you. Any time and any day, I've got confidence in you. Jesus, I've got confidence in you. Jesus, I've got confidence in you. Any time and any day. I've got confidence in you, Jesus. I've got confidence in you, Jesus. I've got confidence in you, any time and any day. I've got confidence in you, Jesus. I've got confidence in you. Jesus, I've got confidence in you. Any time and any day, I've got confidence in you. Jesus, only you can do what no man can do. Only you can say what no man can say only you can change any situation at all god only you are able daddy so so you are capable jehovah only you can do what no man can do only you can say what no man can say only you can change any situation at all. Only you are able, daddy, so so you are capable, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Lord. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can change. Any situation at all, God. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. I've got confidence in you, Jesus. Only you, only you, Lord. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Wamilele, wamilele. Ni nani wamilele wamilele ni Yesu wamilele wamilele ni nani wamilele wamilele ni Yesu 
Wamilele wamilele ni nani sema ni Yesu wamilele wamilele Mungu wa baraka ni nani aye wamilele wamilele ni Yesu wamilele wamilele ni nani wamilele ni Yesu oh wamilele wamilele ni nani aye Anazungukia maisha yangu Anazungukia maisha yangu Anazungukia maisha yangu he Anazungukia maisha yangu Anazungukia maisha yangu Anapamba 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 Anaweza Anaweza ya kile kile ah ah wa moyo eh my god is good oh my god is good oh eh my god is good oh my god is good oh great let us have now our order of service the Lord be with you. We have come together, youth of God, drawn by his spirit, longing for his word, to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in his love and be sent in his peace. We are heirs with the Father, joint heirs with the Son. Renewed in the spirit, together we are one. We stand together with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. And as our Savior taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. It is time to hear our church notices. Hi, good morning everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this Sunday for a Sunday service. I hope you're having a blessed Sunday. These are our notices for today. So, the first one, join us every Monday at 9 p.m. for our Mentorship Monday episodes, which we'll be sharing ex very important mentorship tips um, on our Facebook and our YouTube page. Second, Trivia Night huh, continues every Wednesday and Sunday, like tonight, um, from 8 to 9 p.m. and so the group, the link to join the group will be shared on our uh, WhatsApp platform so you can feel free to join, feel free to have fun, it's amazing, like I promised last week, exactly. So, the third one, for any prayer needs during this tough time, whatever it may be, please feel free to always reach out to a youth pastor, Pastor Harry, she's gonna help you so, so much. Um, fourth, don't 
let's not forget to give our offertory, uh, which and the pay bill will be shown during the offertory time. Please feel free to give your offertory there and please enjoy the rest of the service. Bye. Now let us bow our heads and enter into a session of prayer. Even in this moment of intercession, let us humble ourselves in prayer. Let us focus our hearts to Christ. Let us give him all the honor and glory. Let us Lord and, and worship him. Let us give him all the respect. Because he knows that he created us in our mother's womb. Indeed, there is none like him in all the earth. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence this time with thanksgiving in our hearts for the gift of life, Jehovah Lord. We don't take it for granted, Jehovah Lord, that we are alive, Jehovah Lord, there are sick people in the hospitals, Jehovah Lord, it's not that you are special, but it is because of your grace and mercy, Jehovah Lord. This moment, Jehovah Lord, I put our country, the world, Jehovah Lord, in your able hands. God, even in this pandemic, Jehovah Lord, I pray that you may come down and heal us, Jehovah Lord. God, let this pandemic come to an end, Jehovah Lord. It is eating lives. People are dying, Jehovah Lord. God, have mercy on us. If you've done wrong, Jehovah Lord, have mercy on us and forgive us, my Father. God, I pray for our families at home, Jehovah Lord. Even as you're at home, Jehovah Lord, I pray that you may continue covering us, Jehovah Lord. That you're going to provide for us, Almighty Father Lord. You're going to provide for food, Jehovah Lord. Even as the Son taught us in the Lord's Prayer, Jehovah Lord, that give us this day our daily bread jehovah lord you're going to provide for us my father god there is none like you in all the earth jehovah lord you reign forever my father lord i thank you for the gift of education jehovah lord even as you know the education system has come to a stop jehovah lord god the, the online classes going on jehovah lord some are not able to access them jehovah lord even the candidates for this year jehovah lord have mercy on us jehovah lord come down jehovah lord and let your will be done god may you go back to how you are, Jehovah Lord, and even when you're not okay, if you're not living according to your Jehovah Lord, I pray that, Jehovah Lord, you're going to make us live according to the will, you're going to live straight lives, Almighty Father Lord. We have done wrong, Jehovah Lord, and we repent of our sins, my Father God. God, this moment, Jehovah Lord, I pray for our church with the vicar, Jehovah Lord, the church leaders, Jehovah Lord, the lay readers, my youth pastor, Jehovah Lord, continue blessing them, even as they keep sharing your word, Jehovah Lord, despite all this, Jehovah Lord, they are trying hard so that they can reach us, Jehovah Lord, so that they can mold us, Jehovah Lord, in your way, God, and I pray that you're going to provide for them, my Father, Lord, God, there is no one else like you in all the earth. Lord, I pray for the sick people in, all, in the hospitals, Jehovah Lord, the suffering from corona and any other disease, Jehovah Lord, you're the doctor of all doctors, Jehovah Lord, heal them. 
God, I pray for the handicapped, Jehovah Lord, the disabled, Jehovah Lord, cover them. Give us the hearts of generosity to be generous to them and be kind to them, Jehovah Lord. God, God your word tells us that we ask and we shall receive, we seek and we shall find, we knock and the doors and shall be opened unto us, Jehovah Lord. We are doing so now, Jehovah Lord. Please have mercy on us, my Father God. God, above all, we love you so much. Even as we continue to be service, may your Holy Spirit reign, Jehovah Lord. And what I have not prayed for, may the Holy Spirit intercede for me in heaven. For in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Now we enter to the second best part of the service where we have testimonies on what God has been doing in, into your life. Praise God. I just want to take this opportunity to thank God because of my life. He has been good to me. His grace he has been sufficient to me. I just want to take a few minutes to share my testimony with you. That you can be encouraged. The last week I was passing through challenges. I remember Saturday morning. Uh, I had a bad dream. Didn't understand this dream, the meaning in this dream. So I was terrified. I had to share my story with Pastor Harry. Pastor Harry prayed for me. Next night, slept very well. But then after three days, I woke up in the morning with severe pain in my neck. The pain was too much. Couldn't even move. Couldn't even do anything. Couldn't even change position in my bed. So I was wondering what was going on with my life. I had some negative thoughts in my mind. But then I came to realize that all this was the work of the devil. I took a step. I also prayed for myself. You now thank God because after those prayers, I feel much better. So, just want to encourage someone who might be passing the same situation or a different one. Be it pain, suffering, sickness, or any kind of problem. Just focus. Put your trust in God. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the tool to fight the devil. God bless you. Now those were awesome testimonies. Now we want to worship God with our offerings. The church pay bill and account number will be displayed on the screen.
God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this wonderful moment you have given out to us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the protection to the children. Thank you for the offering, Father Lord, in front of us, O Jehovah Jesus. I pray that, Lord, you give us it to be sanctified to your holy by Jesus Christ. I also pray for the servant, Jehovah Jesus, who is going to preach to us. May you, Jehovah Jesus, use him as your vessel, guiding, protecting, Father Lord. Use him, Father, so that, Lord, you must speak to us, Jehovah Jesus, according to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, believe in and trust in your holy name. Amen. Let us now prepare our hearts to listen to the word of God today. Praise God, church. I'm glad you tuned in today. My name is Tasha and welcome to our online service. So I know times are tough. Everyone seems to be going through a hard time with self-isolating, quarantine and coronavirus. But I feel like we need to dwell on something we all need a little more of during this period. And so our core verse is going to be 1 Corinthians 13, 13, which says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. We just celebrated an odd Easter. I think this is the first Easter where everyone has been forced to stay indoors and services have changed. Everything is going online. But... This was important because our entire faith as Christians is based on a single act of love that gives us a hope for our lives, past, present, and future. So starting with faith, what is faith exactly? In Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1, faith is considered or defined as confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we don't see. Now, the Bible says with a little faith, something as small as a mustard seed, you could absolutely move mountains. And as Christians, we're called to walk by faith, not by sight. So when you see the statistics and you see the stories and you hear what's happening and the death count is rising, we still as Christians have faith that we will live, that we will survive, that there will be a cure, there will be healing, there will be redemption. And that comes from the first, second Corinthians chapter five, verses seven, which also says, we live by faith, not by sight, continuing to eat. We are confident, I say, and would be preferred to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Amen. So as we continue, it's very easy to ask, so why is my faith being tested? Why do we go through hardships? Why the pandemics? Why the outbreaks? Why the wildfires? Why does everything seem to go wrong? Well, James, in his book, chapters 1, verses 3, gives us an answer. Testing of faith gives us perseverance. It teaches us to be stronger, to be smarter, to continue to trust the Lord even when everything seems to be going horribly wrong. And I think, well, in the current situation, we can all agree this is a test of faith but we must continue to trust in the Lord. Then we come to hope. Now, hope is a key pillar in our walk as Christians, and here's why. We had absolutely no hope before the coming of Christ. We were condemned to a dark and pitiful abyss. Call it Hades, call it Jehannam, call it hell, whatever you want. That was going to be our destiny. But until Jesus Christ came, until he died on that cross, when he said it was finished, and when he conquered the grave and rose on the third day and ascended into heaven, did we get hope for our souls? Just by believing in him, just by trusting him, just by accepting him, we have hope that we will come into a glorious and wonderful day where we'll get to commune with God. And wonderful will be that day. And don't worry, I'm a bit of a nerd, so I like a lot of Superman movies. <laughs> and one of the most interesting quotes I've actually heard from the movie, the most recent one, was, the abs darkness is not the absence of light, it's the absence of hope. Despair doesn't kick in until you're hopeless. When you have 
when you've given up, when you think everything is just going to go worse, there's nothing we can do, nothing will get better. That is when you truly begin to experience pain and despair and depression and anxiety. But the truth of the matter is, with just a little hope, everything seems to make life easier. And we can all be hopeful in these trying times. And more importantly, the Bible also gives us a chance to see this in Isaiah 40, 31. And the gist of the verse is simply this, that they who are hopeful will soar on wings like an eagle. They will have their strength renewed. So if you're feeling down and downcast, try being more hopeful. Everything makes a difference. And the last and the greatest of things, as the Bible tells us, is love. Love is one of those words that has a lot of definitions, by the way. But none so more important than the definition given by the Bible in 1 John chapter 4, verses 8. God is love. Let me say that again. God is love. Therefore, love is God. And to be loved is to be held in God's account. So if you start wondering in, within your relationships, romantic or otherwise, you know, work, church, everything, whether or not that person truly loves you, simply ask yourself, is this person being godly towards me? 1 Corinthians 13, just uh, in front of the chapter, verses 4 to 5, gives us a description of what love is. Love is patient, love is kind, love is slow to anger, love covers a multitude of sins and wrongs. It bears no grudge. That's what true love is supposed to be like. And that's what we're supposed to be showing right now. Even though we're self-isolating or physically distancing, or socially distancing if you're living in without uh, access to Wi-Fi, then we have to be a little bit more mindful. There are a lot more people who need our help. There are a lot more people who need our care. And just a simple thank you when your delivery guy comes with your goods, you know, help him out. And I mean, I think the most beautiful and perfect expression of love is within God. Because God, through his son, his beloved son, Jesus Christ, expressed his love by coming down and dwelling amongst us and teaching us about his kingdom, teaching us how to worship him, teaching us how to commune with him. He healed the sick. He healed. He brought sight to the blind. He raised people from the dead. He fed us. And then he died on a cross. I don't think people understand, but that was a sinner's death. The cross was an execution for a criminal, a death that wasn't meant to be his, that we might be spared an eternity in hell just so we could call him father, just so that we could go to heaven one day, just so that we could live a happy and fulfilled life. John 3.16, we've learned it all through Sunday school. We say it all over and all the time. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever might believe in him won't perish but have eternal life. And later on in the same book of John, the same gospel, chapter 15, verses 13, there is no greater love than he who lays his life for his friend. And that's what Jesus did for us. That's what Jesus did for you, for me, for everyone. Regardless of whether or not you believe it or accept it, he did it for all of us. That's how much he loves us. And while I have to end this sermon, I know it's been tough times. And we don't know when the light is coming and we don't know when it's going to end. But, I don't want you all to forget. You can feel alone, you can feel underrated, you can feel lonely because everyone's been told to stay away from each other. But true love, pure and perfect in its form, can be felt even when no one's there. Jesus loves you. So let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come before you, thanking you for this day that we have seen again thinking that you will be with us. Even though times are tough, we know that you will protect us, for by your stripes we are healed. By dying on that cross, you saved our lives. And even if this body, bodily flesh gives away, my soul has redemption. Everyone's does. And we ask that you may continue to protect us, protect our loved ones, protect those we care about, protect those who don't know us, protect those who are in pain, those who are suffering, heal those who are in their hospital beds, protect the nurses and doctors who are helping them, protect the drivers who are driving in between counties just to supply us with things, Father. We thank you 
for we know you have an answer to everything. There is nothing too tough for you. Nothing is impossible for you. Even coronavirus, even COVID-19, nothing is tough for you. You will give us healing for you are our healer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Bye. We have now come to the end of our service. Thank you for joining us. Kindly, kindly, kindly. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Ken and thank you. God bless you. Have a lovely week. Peace. Boy,